By acclamation, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. His popularity, influence, and charisma redefined what a superstar could be called in any sport. We asked several people, if Michael Jordan made an announcement that he was going to run a marathon, how many African Americans do you think would come out and run a marathon? If a, if a celebrity like a Michael Jordan or LeBron James were to run a marathon, do you think that would help to increase running participation within the African American community? I think having my, Michael, you know, Michael Jordan or, or LeBron James or, or, you know, or any, you know, Black American stars, I think that will definitely, you know, attract more Black American to to come and run. And I think it's our part also to do, you know, to do to do some, of, you know, to to give them more information, more. Health, health interest that you can get out of running and that way we can we can attract more. Great. And to go on the shot clock, Michael Jordan. I would like Michael Jordan to come run the IMG New York City Marathon. <laughs> if if Michael Jordan ran New York or ran Chicago or ran Boston or ran Berlin or ran London, it would be huge. Huge. You can't understate the power of celebrity, particularly in the United States. We're a star culture and the more leaders that can come out and show what they're made of, the more kids they're going to inspire to get healthier and fitter. Michael Jordan, he, he's got a lot of influence. I'd say that he, he and Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey, you know, everybody, you can, I can tell, I tell a lot of my runners and women, not just African American too, um, hey, the Oprah Winfrey ran a marathon, I know you can, you know, and she's got a lot of influence. I'm sure he does too. If Michael Jordan picked up a pair of shoes and ran the Chicago Marathon, all he had to do was put the word out that he was going to do that, and I would believe we would pick up another five, 6,000 African-American runners just to come out and support what Michael was doing, get ex inspired by Michael, because he's a big inspiration to African-Americans just by being a, not just a basketball player, but an athlete and a, as a black role model. So Michael Jordan can... He can pull him out there, and I would see if I can run right beside him, see if uh, maybe that I can inspire some more to come out at the same time. Hey, how many people would be motivated by the participation of Michael Jordan in a major city marathon? But I think it's safe to say, given the impact that P. Diddy and Oprah had on awareness of marathon running, on the healthy benefits of marathon running and training, and if Michael Jordan were to announce that he was going to run the LaSalle Banks Chicago Marathon, it really would invigorate whole new populations, young people, uh, African Americans, and all Americans to not only pay attention to his quest to complete a marathon, but to be motivated by his commitment to fitness. Well, that would be interesting. I think that they would turn out, de definitely, because, and, but, but, you know, here's an example, like P. Diddy, who could be a bigger star than P. Diddy? And did he bring out thousands and thousands of African Americans? No, he didn't, but he, they sh he sure brought them out to cheer along the route. Oh, there's a lot of people who will come out, man, so many, you, you, you won't even, you can't even count it, you know, just, they only, if Michael Jordan run out, I think every little kid is not going to run it again, because just Michael Jordan did it. If Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods or somebody wanted to run the LaSalle Bank Chicago Marathon, I bet thousands upon thousands of more um, African Americans would be uh, signing up and donating it next year because all of a sudden it would be cool because these guys are cool stud athletes and everybody loves them. I mean, they, they, they transcend race, Tiger Woods and Michael. They're just on it, man. They're the man. They, I look up to those guys. And, uh, you know, if I could play basketball with Michael, I might not be running the marathon. But if, if he did do it, there'd be thousands and thousands of more African Americans in the race. Well, I think Michael Jordan would make a lot of people uh, start thinking uh, about running for the marathon. So remember this, what inspired especially Kenyans to start running uh, long distance was a gentleman by the name of uh, Kipchoge Keino, who in the 60s, uh, one of the Olympics in the 60s, actually managed to not only set a record, but he raised a lot of hopes for a lot of people in Kenya. So. I believe that uh, there just needs to be one African-American who can win a marathon, and you'll see how many African-Americans will do very well in marathons. Uh, for Michael Jordan, he used to play baseball in Birmingham, and 
I don't, I don't think it, it made that much of a difference racially. You know, baseball fans went out and saw him, and, and Jordan fans went out and saw Jordan at the game. Now, he was a terrible baseball player. <laughs> but, you know, I think, for example, I think if Oprah came to Birmingham and ran, yeah, that, that would bring probably, I would definitely bring a lot of women out. It might bring a lot more black women. But Birmingham I is, certainly is, think it would have an impact. I, I don't necessarily think that it would have an immediate impact. Uh, I think someone from younger generation uh, uh, may have a, a greater impact. Some, somebody like uh, P. Diddy continuing to do the, uh, the, the same thing he did in, in the ING New York City Marathon, maybe doing that in, in Chicago. I think, I think that's a great example. Uh, if you look at uh, P. Diddy in New York a few years ago, um, that, that one of the things that we're doing with the World Marathon Majors with this group and this partnership is to really elevate the visibility of the sport. Um, and, and, and get it in front of people, not just the people that run and not just the people that are thinking about running, but people that would never think about running. It's got to be much more of a broader-based marketing strategy, broad, broader-based appeal and visibility that will draw interest and hopefully draw more of the youth, more of the general community, more of the media, and just it's, it's a whole team effort that we're, gonna, that we're working together to get to. So I think that's a great point. I mean, the celebrity that runs drives more interest than some of our top athletes, and that's – I think there's – that's good and bad, but I think it's, it's, it's a clear message on where we need to go and how we need to promote the athletes and the top athletes and make stars out of these guys and make stars out of these men and women that are probably some of the most dedicated athletes in the world. So that's, there's a path for us and there's a mission, and I think with this organization, I think that's something we can accomplish. If Michael Jordan was to run, then uh, I would imagine it would uh, you know, boost marathon participation. Uh, you can see like uh, when Oprah or... Uh, P. Diddy or, you know, any, any of the big stars like Lance Armstrong, anybody like that runs a marathon, it stirs up a lot more interest. So I think it's, uh, you know, they probably get more attention than even uh, the, the top Kenyan guys. I think Michael Jordan running the marathon is going to make people want to run a marathon. I think if Michael Jordan were to, you know, start sponsoring youth groups that run marathons, or I mean, at one time Michael Jordan in a marathon isn't going to convince African Americans that they're going to run out and, and you know jump out and run a marathon. I think though, if there is an African American who won a marathon um, and got a contract with Nike or somebody and was all over the television and maybe that whole idea would kind of change a little bit. Kind of like Lance Armstrong in, in cycling. But I don't think Michael Jordan running one marathon is going to make all African Americans turn around and say, okay, I'm going to run a marathon. Even kids. I don't know. Olympic silver medalist Mev Kofleski, who finished second last year here in New York. He will try once again to become the first American man since Alberto Salazar, 23 years ago, to win this race. And he'll be trying to do it against a tough men's field that includes defending champion Hendrik Ramal of South Africa, the world record holder in the marathon, Kenya's Paul Turgot. Meb Kefleji, as the 2004 Olympic silver medal winner in the marathon, 70 days later, Meb would stun the track and field world again by finishing second in the prestigious ING New York City Marathon. Meb is the Michael Jordan of running. A silver medalist in Athens from the United States, Meb Kaflesgi. A two-time U.S. Olympian at the 10,000 meters from the United States, Abdi Abdi Rahman. Last year's ING New York City Marathon champion from South Africa, Hendrik Ramala. Reigning Boston Marathon champion from Ethiopia, Helu Negusi. Current world record holder from Kenya, Paul Turgot. Good luck to all our athletes. Perform 2004, Mev Kaflesky finished second in the Olympic Marathon and second in the ING New York City Marathon. Mev, what will it take to win it all this year? A lot of patience. Uh, it's been a tough year for me, but I'm here in New York. I'd like to thank you for the ING New York Marathon for bringing it. It's a beautiful day here and hopefully a good show. How's your thigh that you injured in August at the World Championships? It's good right now, and you know there's been a lot of team that working, working in Tampa, San Diego, and Mammoth Lakes. Hey, I've done the best that I can to get ready for this with Coach Larson. The rest is up to God. Mep, good luck. Thank you.
So Meb looks to become the first American to win the ING New York City Marathon since Alberto Salazar completed his three-peat in 1982. Right now, race... The way I started running is in the P class, uh, physical education in seventh grade. I happened to run, uh, every Friday we run a mile, or 600 meter, I ran a 520 and uh, that opened up an ice uh, just because I wanted, to get, wanted a good grade and uh, the rest is history because, uh, you know, I try to be a better person every time. But here comes Meb, Meb's not through yet. I mean, this guy is tough as nails. He's not saving himself for the wedding. <laughs> well, he's got two weeks to recover. Come on. Well, they're all There's taking 25 their miles. They're all taking their punches, and they can all take a punch. USA comes Meb Kaplesky. Silver medalist in the Athens Marathon. And he puts a third place finish next to last year's second place finish. But the 2005 ING New York City Marathon champion is Paul Turcotte. Who, all the runners who fell behind and now they get to the finish line and they get to hear the story and someone comes over and says you're not going to believe it Ramallah and Turgot had a sprint finish and separated they were by a second and they go what? Market uh, for African Americans you have to give it a try and we have to participate more in the 5k, 10k and half marathon um, you know you know African Americans we are the best in the sprints but now that I, I myself and Abdi and the other ones who could start the trench hall in the mile, 800, 5K, 10K, and the way to do that is we have to give it a shot. Don't be scared of the distance, that's the bottom line. If, we, if you're scared of the distance, you know, you could be a great 400 meter, you could also be a great 800 meter. And later as you get older, you could be a great 1500 meter. And, uh, don't, and, and in college also, you could be, don't, don't hesitate to uh, do a 5K, a 10K. Because, uh, you know, everybody wants to be a spinner, it's glamorous, but the three main glamorous events are the 100 meter, mile, and a marathon. So, you know, we all have it, we have it in us because, you know, our ancestors that has been able to do all the labor and a lot of work should be in our genes. around with 